Hey you guys, Beth Brutati here, and today we are just going to record some recent MDs. Uh, I haven't recorded one of these in a really long time. I was saving a bunch of stuff up, and then I got sick of looking at it and just threw it all away. Um, but now that we are getting ready to like move again, and we've been downsizing and kind of cleaning and stuff, um, I kind of grabbed a bunch of stuff to put in this video. Um, if you guys hear any noise in the background, that's just Aaron cooking dinner, so don't worry. It's not like some craziness is happening at the apartment. Um, so the first things we're going to talk about are actually going to be makeup because I want to knock this out first. Um, the first, and this isn't all inclusive, I threw a bunch of stuff away without even thinking about it. So um, the first thing that I'm going to show is going to be the Cover Effects Mattifying Anti-Acne Primer. You guys know that I absolutely love this. This is definitely a repurchase. Um, I'm going to try to use up some of the primers that I already have, uh, but if I start breaking out again really bad, I'm going to have to start using this again, um, like before. I can just try other stuff. So we'll see. Um, and I am a little broken out right now. If you guys, can you, I don't know if you can see it. Erin said it's hard to see unless you're looking for it, but I have one of the little Peter Thomas Roth like acne spot guys. So the makeup doesn't stick. If you look, there's definitely <laughs> a break in my blush and bronzer, but that's okay. The rest of the makeup that I have to talk about is in this box and I'm literally just gonna hold up a couple of pieces. Most of this is just really old stuff that I've had for ages. Um, I did grab this to talk about. This is the Tarte's Lights Caramus Flashes. Uh, this one is the Rubber Bristle Brush from Tarte. Um, it is kind of crazy to use. I definitely poked myself into the, in the waterline like several times, but it was a really good mascara once I got the hang of the brush. Uh, it does have beeswax though, so this one is not a vegan formula from Tarte. Um, I have a ton of random nail polishes in here and it's because um, I gave away all of my drugstore nail polish for the most part. I literally just took a big box of it to work and wrote free, take me home, give me a good shake. Um, the ones that I threw away are the ones that like I bothered to open and see that they were totally dried out um, or ones that have been chewed up either by the dogs or the cats or the, I don't know, maybe a toddler got a hold of them, I don't know. Um, so there are a bunch of nail polishes in here that fall under that category. Um, I have a whole bunch of fragrance samples in here. Um, those are all going in the trash because unfortunately they just don't smell good anymore. And I've had them literally for years. Couldn't even tell you how long. That weird sound is Aaron feeding the animals. <laughs> it's okay. It was just funny. I was like, what is that? Um, I have in here a couple of primers and bases and things like that too. Um, the first one is the Under the Rainbow Eyeshadow Primer from MT Coffins. I'm pretty sure this is actually still available and you can see I did not use very much of this. It was actually a really, really good primer. Um, I thought I made a decent dent in it, but now that I look at it, I really didn't. Um, this kind of got packed up when I moved and I didn't find it until recently. So it unfortunately is done. It is toast. And then this is the Infinity Black Hole Base Shadow Base from TikTok Cosmetics. Uh, I actually don't even know if they're still a brand or not. If they are, I'll link them in the down bar below. Um, like, I've been out of the indie world for a long time. Um, but this one smells really waxy and spent like old cosmetics do, so I'm not even going to try it. I'm just going to assume it's bad now. Um, and then I have a bunch of random lip glosses that I mixed with loose pigments and I'm just going to assume that those are all bad news bears now. Um, and then a bunch of my glitters dried out, which is okay. And then the other things I have in here are literally all a bunch of eyeliners. Because when I was cleaning out my eyeliners, I found a ton. So we're just going to fly through them real quick. The first one is the Sephora uh, Contour Crayon Eye Pencil 12 Hour Wear. It was when we switched over to having like a... I don't even know what to call this formula. It's nice though, um, it's waterproof, it's long wear, uh, but this one is dried out. Uh, I have the Too Faced 3-Way. Uh, this was on the gondola until recently, even though we didn't get stock of it for a very long time. This was a cool little liner, but the only bummer is like, you can see a little bit still coming out, but my cap got, like I threw it back in my drawer and the cap came off, so it dried out like the first time I used it. I was super bummed. Um, this is the Sephora Day to Night Wear Eyeliner. This is literally from the Tangerine Tango collection. Um, for starters, our pencils in this type of packaging tend to dry out easily, so keep that in mind. Don't like buy them in bulk um, and don't unwrap them from the plastic until you're ready to use them. But yeah, I had a bunch of the Tangerine Tango ones that I scooped them up when they went on sale, but they're unfortunately all dried out. Um, Elf liners, I 
found this in my drawer and it is like rock hard. I don't know how long I've had that. Um, this was a really old glam bag or birch box or somebody and I don't even know why I still have it but I found it with a random thing of makeup. The Givenchy Liner Couture. This one was actually a really cool one because the felt is really long um, so that you get more of that calligraphy point. It's not quite dead, but it's dead enough that the formula isn't as black and it doesn't want to come out on the tip so you don't get that nice clean line that you're looking for with liquid liner. Um, this is the Sephora Nano and I know this honestly I could still probably use, but this was something I got from the birthday gift before I even started working at Sephora, so that's going in the trash. Uh, this is the Ido liquid liner from Ico. Um, I went to use this recently, and as you can see, there's still a lot of product in it, but the problem is the tip is dried out and it will not work from the tip anymore. So again, you can't get that nice clean line that you're trying to get. Uh, this is the Hourglass, what is this called? Mechanical Gel Liner. It's the itty bitty little fine point. Um, I love this. I would buy this again in a heartbeat, but I think it has beeswax, maybe. Uh, I gotta check the formula. If it's vegan, I would buy this again and again and again. It was fantastic. Uh, and then the last one is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eye. This one breaks my heart to throw away. Uh, this is the green color, I don't know the name, Olive, because uh, a lot of it has rubbed off. But again, same thing where it still has product left in it, but the tip doesn't really give me any product distribution anymore, so I can't get a nice fine line. So all of that is getting tossed. Moving on to some quick uh, body care products. I have a thing of Derma Doctor Shrinking Beauty that is toast. Um, I have another backup of this in the cabinet. This is actually a really great product. It is, my camera is getting real dark and real light. It doesn't know what it's doing. Um, this is a really great vegan, cruelty-free product. Um, it really is designed to help shrink down fat cells. Um, so it is really good for people who have lost a lot of weight and are maintaining a low-fat diet um, but are not getting the like tightness they want. It is not a permanent solution. It's not the same thing as like liposuction, but if you maintain a low-fat diet, you'll be able to maintain your results with uh, application once a day or every other day once you get to your minimum result. This stuff definitely does work. I like this a lot. Um, and I would repurchase that, especially during the summer during bikini season. Um, then I have, this is Aaron's jam, he loves this. This is the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle Body Wash. He likes the shampoo and conditioner in this line as well. Um, this one is empty because we used it all up. We already have a replacement that's already halfway gone. Um, so we will definitely repurchase this again and again because this is one that we both agree on because the two of us are apparently very opinionated when it comes to body wash. <laughs> He's not paying attention to me. Um, I have the entire L'Oreal Ultimate Straight Smooth System. Um, I've used it for a couple of months and it's only about halfway gone but I am throwing it away. Um, I started to experience a lot of hair loss and this was the only thing that had changed. So I am assuming that my hair loss is associated with this formula. It's kind of a bummer. It is something I got from Influencer. Um, so I got it to try for free and everything. It did a really good job of straightening my hair and everything, but then I noticed it was falling out. So not worth the results. <laughs> um, everything else is gonna be some quick skincare. The Ulla Henkerson Invigorating Night Gel. This now comes in a pump top, like a normal serum. Uh, really good formula. It's a, an AHA, it's a glycolic. Um, Ulla is an LVMH company, and this is a really good glycolic. So if you want like a cruelty-free but LVMH company, that's a good option. Um, I have the Origins Plant Scriptions Eye Cream. You can see like over half of this is left. I just hate it that much that I don't even want to finish it. Um, unfortunately, it just doesn't do anything for my fine lines at all. And I don't, I work in makeup. I can't have creasing under my eyes every day. Um, I also have the Tatcha Oil and the Polished Classic Rice Enzyme Powder. This isn't quite gone, but it's almost there. Um, ooh, sorry camera. Uh, I liked both of these a lot. I used to hate this and then I realized I was using it wrong. Um, you want to put it in your hand and foam it and then apply it to the face, not try to work it in a lather on the face. So those are both two products I definitely recommend. I believe Tatcha is cruelty free, but I would have to double check that. Um, I have the Kalamazoo Beard Wash from Lush. Um, it's a beard and face wash. I use this a couple of times with my Clarisonic and I liked it a lot. Um, Aaron wanted this one. He got it for Christmas to use on his beard and his face. 
It actually still smells good, but the sell-by date was, like, we literally got it, like, the day of the sell-by date, and we were super upset because we were like, oh, my God, it's going to go bad. Um, but it didn't. Like, it still smells okay, but I don't think I would risk putting it on my face at this point. <laughs> um, but we both liked this a lot. Aaron was using this with his Clarisonic, as was I. Uh, and he, it did a really good job of conditioning his beard, too, which you guys never saw his beard but his beard is gone now so if you follow me on instagram you've seen that he had a beard but not that it's gone um then we have the face cleanser from first aid beauty i have this and i also have the milk oil cleanser which i didn't bother to bring out here these are both this one's gone the milk oil is almost gone and i would definitely repurchase both of them i like them both a lot um the last two things are from kate somerville so we're just going to toss them out here and get it out of the way um, Kids and Reveal is still a cruelty free company, but they are now owned by Unilever. Um, these are products from their acne line. This one is the clarifying treatment toner. Um, I will keep this bottle and reuse it because it's that really useful pump top. The packaging is filthy from sitting on the counter though. Um, really, really good toner if you have breakouts and if you don't really know why you get breakouts and you just need a general toner. And the other one is the Dermal Quench Clear. Uh, I use this to clear up my face. I talked about it in some blogs and videos, so you guys already know about this one. So that is my empties for this um, time, recent, whatever. Um, sorry if I talked really fast, just wanted to get through it. So I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.